I will never finish this in two days. Anyhow. How can a worm cross the ocean? I have not taken. There is some Basmati rice in last night's offering. I'll take. So, <coughs> can someone throw that out the window? Okay, Haribo. So, Marpa returned from his tour of South India he came back to Jagannath Puri and we were describing that's right yesterday morning how all the devotees the eternal associates came from different parts of India different parts of the world to reside with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri Saruk Dhamadama came Sri Govinda Prabhu one by one all attended Ramananda Roy also gave up his government seva, his government service, and came to reside with the Lord in Jagannath Puri. Indeed, seeing that the Lord's intimate, how do you say, exchange with, with Ramananda Roy, all the other devotees were astonished how intimate he is, how dear he is to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, Yad Icha Avasam Bratibhuvi Prati Janma Saraga. Yuvadamnam tachet parichatam rarada bilasa. Svarupam siruham tasrajatam api. My dear mind, Raghunath Goswami says, if you want to live in Vrindavan birth after birth with attachment for Radha Krishna, and if you want to serve the divine couple, then you have to sputam nitya prema sadat tadatvam svanumana. And my dear mind, always very distinctly, and with great affection, offer your pranams to Sarup Damada Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Sanatan Goswami, and the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, every morning or after Aati, when do we get a chance to do that? When we pray to the Guru Prampara, the Jai Dwani. Okay, in the Jai Dwani we pray. Jai Niti Lila Prabhisht Om Vishnu Pad Sri Bhaktivedanta Rayan that is our chance to deeply remember and do obey, isn't it? Don't just sit there. Actually, one thing everyone in Gaudiya Mat, everyone, I noticed, in the Jai Duani, everyone's lying on the ground with their head to the floor, but Gaudiya Mat, we don't do that. In Gaudiya Mat, every, everyone stands, at the end they do obeisances. Anyway, as you like, you do. But not just with our head on the floor and snoozing. You're hearing each member of this Guru Parampara, Guru Dev, Param Guru Dev, no? And deeply, that is our chance. Jai Sri Rup Sanatan Bhattarokuna. Sri Prem Sikaho Sri Krishna. This is our chance to remember. All the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the pastime places of Radha Krishna, Raghunath Goswami, every day he would do 2,000 dandavats. Dandavat means bowing. 2,000 times a day, he would remember all the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the pastime places of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the devotees of Radha Krishna, all the pastime places of Vrindavan. Every day, 2,000 dandavats. How many we do a day? Two, Two three, four. Okay, I shall have to try and hear also. I shall have to try and hear also. So, <clears throat> the king of Jagannath Puri was a great devotee. Remember a few days ago we told about his mother and father? So, Pratapa great devotee of Jagannath, great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first came to Jagannath Puri, then Mahaprabhu was dancing in ecstasy. Mahaprabhu means Krishna who came 500 years ago as devotee. Okay. When the Lord first came, he was chanting ecstasy, falling on the ground, foam was coming from his mouth. And because he was rolling the dust, the foam and the dust was sticking to his body. 
So the king was looking at him with a bit of disgust. Because, anyway, not every day you see someone foaming on the ground and rolling. So the king was looking at the Lord with some feelings of disgust. So in my time he had a dream of Lord Krishna in the form of Jagannath. And Lord Jagannath also had foam coming from his mouth and covered in dust. So the king ran to embrace him and the king, Jagannath said, Don't touch me, I'm not clean. Then the king's dream broke. Then the king could realize, Oh, that same Jagannath, Krishna has come as this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You see his picture there, Ashalata? Okay, we'll talk about him today. What time do you have to go to work? This evening. Okay, we'll talk. So, when the king could understand, say Krishna, say God, say Jagannath, that Krishna, that Jagannath have come as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all are the same person. So the king wanted to see the Lord. Therefore he put a proposal to his spiritual master, Sarva Bhattacharya. So Sarva Bhattacharya, he requested the Lord. The king of Jagannath Puri, he is a great devotee of Lord Krishna, and he desires to see you, to meet you. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately said, No. Niskinshanasya Bhagavad Bhajan Mukasya Param Param Jigamiso Bhavasagarasya Sandarsanam visya visayanam atayosinim scha ha hanta hanta visa bhiksanti api asadu. For one who wants to cross the ocean of birth and death to see the face of a materialistic man or woman, it is sorry, for one who wants to cross the ocean of birth and death, it is better to drink poison or enter fire than to talk or see the face of someone who is intimately engaged with the opposite sex, a man or a woman. So strong verse, no? Why? Because if you drink poison or into fire, you only lose one lifetime, one body. But you associate with lusty persons. If you associate with lusty persons, you will lose thousands of births. But actually, only being with a woman is not considered street sandal. For example, Gurudev had so many thousands of lady disciples. Gurudev is street sangi, impossible. But to associate with the lusty mood, that is called Sri Sand. So better to drink poison than to associate with such a person. Associate means talking with. Talking with them, associating with them. One should stay far away. Of course, maybe. <laughs> Just that makes 99.99% of the population. For some business, for some material dealings, we have to deal with so many people. But they're not intimately reveal our details of our devotion and private life to such. But we stay far, we avoid. We avoid. Understand? Okay, Gary, hang on. Therefore, king means materialist. King means money and women. But therefore, it says, just like one feels afraid when he sees a snake, or even if he sees a wooden snake on the ground. Isn't it? Morning time you wake up and a wooden snake. In the same way one feels afraid of a snake, one who is interested in spiritual life should feel afraid of seeing an attractive woman or even a morty of a woman, a wooden statue of a woman. That's how strict Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was. Hmm. Therefore, one should not even glance at their bodily features. One should be very careful. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how much he was strict. No? Therefore, Mahaprabhu said, O Bhattacharya, if you say this again to me, you will never see me. You will never see me again. I will leave here forever. Then all the devotees became afraid. Thus, being afraid to mention the subject again, Savabhom Bhattacharya returned home. Because Guru's job is to give us to the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the feet of Krishna. That is his job. <laughs> Understand, that is his seva. So 
So Guru is always thinking how to give them devotion, how to put them on the feet of Radha Krishna. Therefore, Sababoma Bhattacharya went home and it says, Boipan Sababoma Nijagari Gela Vasaya Gya Bhattacharya Chintita Hoila. Sababoma Bhattacharya went home and he was thinking how I can arrange the meeting of my disciple with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If a guru is always planning that, Guru Deva is always thinking that. One time I asked Pujapati Chirikamaraj, Maharaj, please play, pray for me. Maharaj said, I am always praying for you. I am always praying for Radha Krishna for your welfare. No? Because we pray or not, Krishna will hear, who knows? Saramanga Saranaragati Hoi Bejaha Jaha Pratam Suni Sri Nandakumar. And this one is completely surrendered to Krishna. Krishna won't hear your prayers. But Guru Maharaj would always say, Guru hears. Guru Parampara hears our prayers. So, Sarabhan Bhattacharya went home thinking how to arrange the impossible. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, I will not meet. The Supreme Lord doesn't want to meet anyone who can force him. Therefore, Guru is that responsibility. No? Very deep thing. Therefore, one devotee asked Srila Gorgamaj, Oh, will I go back to Krishna at the end of this life? Srila Gorgamaj became very angry. You have no right to ask such a question. He became angry. This is not your business. This is my business. I have accepted you. Therefore, it's my duty to take you back to Krishna. Your duty is just to follow my instructions. That's all your duty is, no? Very deep thing. So, the king, when the king heard, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will never meet you, <laughs> and he became sad. The king was thinking, oh, because I am a king, the Lord will not meet me, then I will give up the kingdom. I will become a beggar, a yogi. Then the Lord will meet me. So when everyone heard, he is so much determined. He will give up everything just to meet the Lord. Then all the devotees became astonished. They also began praying for his welfare. Therefore, if we serve Vaishnavas, we have, then they will always be thinking of our welfare, our benefit. No? So it's a matter of affection. So that much we serve, that much we surrender, then the devotees become responsible for us. The Gurudev used to say, we should be so dear to Gurudev. The Gurudev is thinking, oh, has he eaten? Understand? That much care, that much close. Just like someone who is very close, like our own children, we think, oh, have they eaten? Do they have cloth? For outside persons, we don't care. And if so many bombs and that we see, where are you? Have they eaten? No. But someone who is very dear and close to us, then we worry for that person. No? So, point being, the Lord may reject someone, but as long as Gurudev has not rejected that person, there's always hope. <laughs> Therefore, everything depends on relationship with Gurudev, but not just Gurudev, Gurudev and the Vaishnavas. That person only thinks Gurudev, Gurudev, but that person will not be successful in spiritual life. Understand? Gurudev and Vaishnavas. No? Especially Shiksha Guru, no? Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru. So, then when Ramananda Roy came from South India, then Ramananda Roy, he began also describing the qualities of the king. When, Ramana, when the Lord asked Ramananda Roy, you left your government seva. Yes, yes, when I asked the king, please king, give me permission to give up everything and serve the Lord. The king became full of ecstasy just hearing your name. Yes, you spend the rest of your life with the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I'll give you a full double pension. So you don't have to worry for money or anything. The king had, then Ramananda Roy saying, the king has so much love for you. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard, Mahaprabhu became ecstatic. Because those who try and become a direct servant of Krishna, they will not be successful. No? But those who try to become a servant of the devotees of Krishna, that person is successful. Krishna says, Ye mad bhakta tatejana, nata mad bhakta tatejana, mad bhakta nam cha ye mad bhakta, se mad bhakta mataha. Krishna says, one who calls himself my servant, he is not my servant. But one who calls himself a servant of my servant, he is my servant. No? Therefore, in spiritual life, the first feeling we should have, I'm a gopi? No, that is the last feeling you will have. <laughs> After liberation. First feeling very strongly should come on a heart. I am servant of Guru. I am servant of Krishna. 
If that feeling comes very strong, then Sarvastarada Krishna is running behind you. We should have no doubt at all in that. No doubt at all. Now, but this is not a material feeling. This is not a material identity. Understand? This is spiritual abhiman, spiritual feeling. And the feeling will feel like that for Guru. And when that feeling for Guru is so thick, we feel, this body belongs to Guru Dev. This body is Guru Dev. <laughs> Everything I have is His. When one has so much affection for Guru, then Krishna becomes greedy. Oh, look how much He loves <laughs> that devotee. Then Krishna is a very greedy fellow. He's greedy for prema. So when Krishna sees we have so much affection, so much regard, they are not only thinking how to please them for Gurudev and the Vaishnavas, Krishna becomes greedy. Oh, why is not loving me like that? <laughs> then Krishna takes that affection you have for Guru and pulls it to himself. Then one enters into bhajan. No? One enters into the moods of Brijabhasi. There's no other way. No other way. And it's sign in blood. Therefore, Sri Guru Vaishnava, Sri, what is it? Sri Guru Vaishnava Rati Nahoi Bayama. Kirupa Seva Pabe Mui Duracha, Sri Guru Vaishnava Rati Nahoi Bayama. Narutam Das Thakur says, How I'll ever get the service for Krishna, love for Guru and Vaishnava have not awoken in my heart. So very thick. So, you hear these stories and we develop faith. Those who are my direct devotees are not my devotees. But those who are servants of my servants are factually my servants. Hmm? For example, we will try and serve Krishna directly. How possible? We should go to those who are already completely serving Krishna and just serve them. For example, Krishna Kanaburu doesn't know how to cook. So what do you do? You go in there and start making? Forget it. You go in the kitchen, then the guys who are already expert at cooking Peru. How can I help? Okay, peel the potatoes. <laughs> By serving those who are expert in cooking, your cooking is perfect. Understand? Even if you don't know cooking, you just do what they say. Then who can be a greater servant of Krishna and Radharani? Impossible. If we just try and become the servants of the servants of the servants of Radha, no? that is also a PhD degree. <laughs> just become the servants of Guru Devan Vaishnava in this world. And the Guru Mahaj would always say, these, these temples, they're like training camps. So you need the visa. There's no, before you go to India, you have to get your visa. Anuradas, don't sit like that. No? Freedom is not a good thing. No? So. so, you need your visa. So where's the visa issuing office for the spiritual world? This is here, Gaudiya Mahat. No? So when we pass the visa, when we pass the test, when we have so much affection for Gurudev, Vaishnavas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then automatically the visa comes from the higher section. Stamped for Brindavan. So, why? Why we should serve the devotees? Then Mahaprabhu quoted two verses from the Bhagavad Purana. Why, Krishna says, my devotees take great care and respect in offering me service. They offer obeisances to me with all the limbs of their body. They worship other devotees. And they see all living entities related to me. For me, they engage the entire energy of their bodies. They engage the power of speech in, the glorific in my glorification. They dedicate their minds to me. And they, for me, they give up all material desires, like onion, garlic, coffee, for Krishna. <laughs> Therefore, one who serves a devotee like that, automatically this seva to Krishna comes to them. Not like what happens with kind of if you touch an electric wire, that shock comes to us. In the same way, that much we attach to the pure devotees, that much we dedicate to them, that much their devotion comes in us, not more, not less. So, Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnu Radhanam Param Tasmat Paratanam Devi Tadiyanam Samacharam. Krishna says, Lord Shiva was asked by Parvati, which is the best thing to worship? Arayananam Sarvesham Vishnu Arayananam. The best worship is the worship of Vishnu. 
But only one thing is higher than the worship of the Supreme Lord. What is that? Sita for ten bhakti points. The worship. Only one thing is superior to the worship of the Supreme Lord. What is that? The worship of the devotees of the Supreme Lord. Very sweet thing. Therefore, when any devotee comes to Narada, to Krishna, what does Krishna do? He gets off his seat, puts the devotee on his throne, and worships him. Krishna is teaching us. Therefore, prakasamanti guru puja tatasjeva mamachana. Before you worship Krishna, you have to worship Guru. If you do not, if you do not worship Guru Dev, you do not respect Guru. You cannot have bhakti to Krishna. The Bhagavatam Krishna said, Mat Bhakta Puja Adikam. The worship of my devotee is superior to my worship. But who can get such worship, such service? Durapiyalpatalpasya, Seva Vaikunta Vatmasa, Yatru Pigyata Nityam Deva Deva Janadam. But those who have no austerities, they cannot get the service of the pure devotees. They cannot have. Therefore, because the yatra, pigetam, nityam, the pure devotees are eternally engaged in the service of Krishna, not so easy to get their association. No? Therefore, body, tano, mano, jivana, guru, pade, apana, body, mind, and words, we should completely surrender to Guru. We should have no doubt at all. Our problem is we think we are the seer, we are seeing Guru, we understand, but we are not the seer, they are the seer. No? We should not think we are seeing them, we should think we are to be seen by them. Like we come to Aati, are we coming to Aati to see Krishna in the morning? JDK, try and come every morning for the early, the Mongol Aati. Mongol means auspicious. If you do the Mongol Aati, if you're tired, then afterwards we take rest. Guru Maharaj would say, anyhow you come for the morning Aati, even you wake up, whatever, you can't take bath, doesn't, you come anyhow, and you see Afterwards you go back and sleep again, no problem. But must come for our team. Where's Pankaj? <laughs> Pankaj came this morning. Dinabandu did not come. <laughs> you know you're having a bad day when even Pankaj gets up before you. <laughs> Mongol Aati. Mongol means auspicious, JDK, no? So we start the day off with Mongolati, our whole day must be auspicious. And we miss Mongolati, really our day cannot be auspicious. No? That is one addiction, Makano can't stay away. Mongolati is a very sweet thing. Such a happiness it gives. So, all this had a point. The point is, superior to the worship of Krishna is the worship of Krishna's devotees. Superior to the service of Krishna is the service of Krishna's devotees. Okay, so of hearing. Try and hear carefully. Hearing is always more important than making garlands. But you can do both, that is okay. So, when the Lord Himself was describing the glories of the de- service of the devotees, then Mahabharata said, Oh, the king will very soon give fortune because he has great love for Ramananda Roy. Therefore, Krishna must give him mercy. Therefore, love for Gurudev, love for Vaishnava, this is bhajan, this is devotion. One time, one devotee, I remember he asked Gurudev, Gurudev, I cannot chant so much. I cannot read so much. Guru Mahal said, no problem. You chant less, you read less, you do less. No problem at all. But your love for Gurudev and the devotee should never go down one drop. Everything else can go down, but that should never go down. Very deep thing, no? So especially leaving the temple. As my Guru Maharaj, when I first came to him, the first instruction he gave me, because I was the first Westerner to leave in Kesavji Gaudiamat, full time. So I remember, his first advice he gave me, make friends with everyone at the temple, otherwise you will never be able to stay here. I remember. You see those who live many years in the Gaudiamat, man, too too much, has no enemies. Okay, people don't like him, but he has no enemies. <laughs> Those who live long time, you see, like Rasananda Prashidama, no enemies. Okay, the enemy is there, but you're always not fighting with anyone. You see, I've seen it. Okay, they have disagreements, but they're not fighting with anyone. People like that, they can live many, many years, no problem. Even Pujabad Bonma never fights with anyone. 
then they can live no long time. So, there may be disagreements, that is okay, but don't manifest it. You keep to yourself. So, point being, the Lord had rejected seeing the king, but all the devotees had not rejected the king. They had so much affection for him. So who will win, Mikano? Will the Supreme Lord win or will the devotees win? Have a guess. Huh? Devotees always defeat the Lord. How he could even doubt for a moment. I kind of have to hear too much more than we believe in the devotees. No? Now we only believe in Bhagawan. But when very strong devotion, then we have so much faith on the character of the Vaishnavas. No? So, the king had been rejected by the Lord, but the devotees had not rejected him. You know? Therefore, Guru Maharaj would always say, no? Even if Bhagawan rejects someone, but Guru Vaishnava are very like that person, that person has nothing to fear by being rejected by Bhagawan, Krishna. Yeah. Who gave him the lifetime pension? Who released him from his government seva to go to Puri? That was all done by the king. Because when... Mahapu met with Ramananda Roy after their conversation. Mahapu said, you come with me and live in Jagannath Puri. So King Prabhupada, when the Prabhupada asked the king, please release me, I want to go and serve Chaitanya Mahapu. The king gave him a lifetime pension, you go. So the king made all arrangements. No? Therefore Ramananda Roy was so much inclined towards the king. There's one story. One time Lord, one man insulted Lord Ram, so Lord Ram took a vow. I vow in the morning I will kill you. Supreme Lord vows to kill you. Where are you going to run? Krishna Raka Mareke. Krishna Mareke. Krishna wants to kill you. Who's going to save you? Krishna wants to save you. Who will kill you? So the Lord is Satyabrat. Satyabratam Paramtri Satyam. Whatever he says, that is completely true. So he vows in the morning I will kill you. You might as well have prepare your funeral now. So the man was crying, by good fortune he met Narad Rishi. Narad Rishi always making some disturbance. If your marriage is very peaceful, we can't just invite Narad Muni for lunch. Always he makes some fight. Not mature fight to glorify the Lord and his devotees, he makes something. So Narad Muni said, why are you crying? Lord Ram has promised to kill me. Then Narad Muni said, don't worry, you just catch hold of Hanuman's lotus feet and don't let go until he promises to save you. So the man believed in Narad's words. He went to Hanuman, Peru, save me, save me, Peru, I surrender, save me, save me. And again and again Hanuman said, oh, don't touch my feet, let go. The man was, no, he caught very hard. Please, Prabhu, protect me, save me. And Hanuman said, yes, okay, I promise to save you. Who wants to kill you? Lord Ram. <laughs> and Hanuman said, as a matter of interest, who told you to do this? Narad Muni. Oh, Narad. <laughs> so early in the morning, the Lord came with his weapons to kill that man. And Hanuman came with his club. In the middle of Ram and the, that man. Then Lord Ram, very serious, Hanuman, you get out of the road. I vowed to kill him. And Hanuman, you get out of the road. I vowed to protect him. <laughs> then Ram gave up his promise. You have vowed to protect him, I cannot do anything. And he gave up. You know? So this much importance, this relationship with Guru Dev, especially <laughs> Diksha Guru, especially Shiksha Guru. This is like life and soul of devotion. So, we will hear Salabhan Bhattacharya gave him advice. There's only one way you can see the Supreme Lord. But you have to follow my advice exactly. If a disciple means that person who completely follows the instructions of the Guru, that is disciple. Only taking initiation doesn't mean disciple. What Guru says who completely surrenders and follows that instruction, that is disciple. Who is under discipline, he is disciple. Therefore, in Sanskrit we say shisha, one who is under the sarsa, the chastisement of the guru, that person is actual disciple. 
So Salomon said, you can be successful only if you follow my instruction completely. Yes, I will do. Okay. At the time of Ratha Yatra, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be absorbed in ecstasy. So after he dances before the char- chariot of Jagannath, he will be tired. He will take rest in the garden. In that time you should go and massage his legs. And you should sing the verses from the Gopi Git. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will give you mercy. No? So, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the Gundicha garden, you should also go there and recite the five chapters of Srimad Bhagavatam about Krishna's dancing with the gopis. In this way you should catch his feet and not let go. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be in a mood of ecstatic love. He will not have external consciousness. At that time he will not know who you are because he was absorbed internally. If you recite the verses of the Gopi Git or the Ras Panchadhyay, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will embrace you and give you mercy. Ramananda Roy Aj Tumar Premagun. The Lord's mind has already changed towards you because of your friendship with Ramananda Roy. Therefore, Maharaj Pradwara completely followed the instructions of his spiritual master, Sarvabhaum Bhattacharya. Therefore, Maharaj Pradwara took the Bhattacharya's advice and firmly decided to follow his instructions. Thus, he felt transcendental happiness. Guru Maharaj would often say, uh, uh, what would he ask? How do you know they would ask? People would ask, Guru Dev, how do we know if you are satisfied? And Guru Maharaj said, if you are happy, that means I am satisfied. <laughs> A very deep thing. So, exactly as the king, exactly as his Guru ordered, the king did. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing in the mood of Radharani before the chariot of Jagannath, then we'll hear. Maybe there's not so much time for that also. Thousands of persons were pulling the char- chariot of Jagannath. But Jagannath was absorbed in also ecstasy. Therefore he stopped the chariot. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the devotees they were there in the mood, we are pulling Krishna back to Vrindavan. So when they were pulling the chariot, the chariot stopped. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu alone would push the chariot with his head. Those chariots, have anyone seen the chariots of Jagannath, Rathayatra? Huge, big as a building. Enormous. I think there's like 10,000 trees in each one. Huge. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would push with his head. Then he would not even push with his head. He would just dance and the chariot would roll. So chanting and dancing, there were seven groups of devotees doing kirtan. Each group had two mridangas, one lead singer, one main dancer. And everyone else was playing. If you see, still in Orissa today, they have that style of kirtan. Wonderful. With Sri Gogamaj in Orissa, sometimes we would have 24 hour kirtan. Then all the different groups would come. You see, wonderful. Huh? Say again? No, but the real kirtan with many devotees dancing for 24 hours. Wonderful. Maybe one day we can do. So, the Lord would appear in each group. Therefore, simultaneously, He was in seven different groups. Everyone could not understand or see that, but the king could see. Because of special mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, while the Lord was dancing, people were watching. There were three rings of devotees around the Lord. The first ring was Nityanandapur. Because only when the Lord would fall, only He had the power to catch Him. Because he is an antashes. The second ring was also there to keep all the crowd from pouring in. And the king himself and the soldiers, they would make the third ring. So the king was on the third ring watching the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu dance in ecstasy. Then before the king was a devotee in the second ring, Srivas Thakur. So Srivas Thakur was moving in front of the king. So the general, his name was Harish Chand. He thought this person is dancing before the king. The king cannot see the Lord, therefore Harish Chand was pushing 
She was Thakur. Come on, buddy. Move out of the room. Come on, buddy. Move out of the room. And she was Thakur. Was, who was pushing me? Who was absorbing? He turned around and slapped the general across the face. Because he was absorbed in ecstasy. Who was disturbing? He turned around. Patunk. He gave him the high five. Then the general became angry. Then the king stopped him. No. You are very fortunate to be touched by the lotus hand of Srivast Thakur. <laughs> so to be beaten or chastised by a devotee, this is too much good fortune. No? We should never think ill. No? So, the Lord danced in seven groups, but everyone could not see. Everyone thought the Lord is only in my group. No? Devotion is like that. No? In the Galoc spiritual world, how many gopis are there? Ten quadrillion gopis. Each gopi thinks Krishna loves me the most. Like Guru Maharaj described, each house in the spiritual world, Vrindavan, each house, they're only cooking for Krishna. All the old ladies, they, I wish Krishna would take my offering, my subject, my roti. And how can one Krishna eat the offerings of millions and millions of people? Therefore, Krishna in the morning, he goes outside his front gate, he expands himself into millions of forms. <laughs> millions and millions and millions of baby Krishnas. No one sees millions and millions of baby Krishnas. They only see one Krishna. This is all arranged by his potency. Okay, I shall have a hearing. How many Krishnas were there? Try and hear. Maybe you should come forward and sit here and hear properly. No? So millions and millions of Krishnas entered into each house. And Krishna would steal the offerings of each devotee. But each devotee would think, Krishna has only come to my house to steal because he loves me the most. And Guru Maharaj says, when Krishna goes cow grazing, millions and millions of boys with him, suckers. Then Krishna is tired. If he takes rest on the lap of one boy, one boy massages his feet, some other boy, one, two boys singing. Some boys break a branch off a tree and find him. Sometimes the boys say to Krishna, I am tired, you massage me, and Krishna massages them. So Krishna accepts millions and millions of forms to arrange the service. And like when we read Vilap Kusmanjali, Raghunath Goswami is praying, when I will be able to comb rather on his hair, give her bath, take and do all this seva. Then I ask Gurudev, Gurudev, then how many manjaris are? Billions and billions. Then how they can do this? Then Guru Maharaj laughed. Brother, this yoga maya arranges everything. Don't worry, Guru Maharaj said. There will be so much seva, you won't even know what to do. So much seva for Radharani. Yoga maya arranges all these things. Then Guru Maharaj said when he met the disciples of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had 60,000 disciples. And Guru Maharaj said, the funny thing, he met so many of them. And they, at one stage they always say, you know, don't tell anyone, but Gurudev loved me more than anyone. <laughs> one Guru, thousands of disciples, each disciple think Guru is I am most dear to Gurudev. So there's no limit. No limits. Yoga Maya arranges all these things. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was tired after dancing and ecstasy. Therefore, he took rest in the garden of Gundicha. Then the king, following the instructions of his guru, what did he do? He took off his royal vest, his royal dress, and just went like a normal guy. He liked normal dress. And he began, all the devotees blessed him, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, you go. The king went, because it's not an easy thing to approach the Supreme Lord, therefore some fear. Was it the Lord that had rejected him, therefore? And he very, taking of believing, he grabbed the feet of Mahaprabhu and began massaging, because the Lord is tired after dancing. Massaging, massaging. Then he began seeing the five chapters of Krishna with the gopis. That is called Ras Panchadhyaya. So especially he would sing Jayati Te Dikam Jammana Braja. Shreyatarim dira sasvadatrahi daita drishya kam dikshuta vaka tvaiva chinvate tava chinvate tava katamritam 
ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಜೀವನ ಕವಿಬೇದಿಶ ಕಾಮ ಸಾಪನ ಶ್ರಾವಣ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ರೀಮದಾತ When Krishna left the gopis and the gopis were absorbed in these feelings of separation and they sang these verses. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also absorbed in the mood of Radharani. Therefore he was also singing along with the king. And when the king sang that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's heart completely melted. Tabakatam ritam tapta jivanam. Many meanings of these verses. Gurudev has one book. Gopi Geet. Have you read Mukhanu? Read, you must read. There's so much nectar there. Guru Mahal is giving so many different explanations of one verse. No? Therefore, Jayatik, no. Tavakatam Ritam, one meaning, the topics of the gopis are saying, the topics of Krishna are like nectar. Tavakatam Ritam, Tapta Jeevanam. One who hears them becomes free from all suffering. Then what is it? Tavakatam Ritam, Tapta Jeevanam. What's the... Kavabhi editam kalma sapana. Kavabhi editam, the topmost part of those persons who describe topics of Krishna. Kalma sapanam, and all the impediments in the heart, all lust, greed, anger, all is dissolved. Just by hearing. Shravanam mangalam, hearing of topics of Krishna is the only auspicious activity. Srimadatatam, they are very powerful because these topics of Krishna are the same as Krishna himself. Like the name of Krishna is the same as Krishna. Topics of Krishna is also the same as Krishna. Therefore, Srimadatatam, they are very powerful. Buri Gunantiye, Buri Dajana. And those persons who spread these topics of Krishna, they are the best well wishers, the most munificent persons, the best donators. But there's also other meanings. Some gopis are angry at Krishna. We were very happy before we met Krishna. We were very happy with our husbands, our children, our material situation. But as soon as we met Krishna, our life became full of misery. We spend our whole lives weeping for Him. Therefore, Tava Katam Vritam. Topics of Krishna are like death. Tapta Jivanam, if who hears about Krishna, his life becomes full of misery. They spend their whole life weeping for Him. Karavedatam Kalmasapanam. Those topmost poets, they're like butchers. Like the butcher, he makes friends with the goat. Come on, little goatee, then. <laughs> mm-hmm. In the same way, the devotees come with the Bhagavatam under their arms. Come, come. Ah, just here five minutes, no problem. <laughs> come on, five minutes won't kill you. Come on, just here a little bit. And what are they doing? Killing people, destroying their lives. <laughs> Because that person has no more interest in material life. They give up everything. Radharani says in Brahma Gita, Oh, one who hears about Krishna, they become like birds. Where does a bird live? Nowhere, tree to tree. What does he eat? Whatever he finds here and there. So someone who hears about Krishna, they become like birds. They give up everything, come to Vrindavan. No? Therefore, <coughs> one devotee, Rupa Goswami, he wrote, If you want to be happy, Smeram Bhangatrai Pracharitam Sachivastena Dristo, Bamsi Nasa Dara Kisalam Ujvala Chandra Kayana Hari Govindakyam Haritanu Keshi Tietuk Upekshani Ma Prakshas Taviyadasaki Bandhu Asti Naraga Rupa Goswami Okay Ashalata be careful Rupa Goswami is warning If you want to be happy with friendship Society and love Never go to Vrindavan <coughs> Okay, Casey, don't come. Don't come to Vrindavan. Stay here in L.A. forever. <laughs> Studying, working. Understand, don't come to Vrindavan. But Rupa Goswami and Guru Maharaj would explain. And if by bad luck you end up in India, something happens. <laughs> <laughs> go to Delhi, go to the Taj Mahal, check out Bombay, go here and there, but don't go to Vrindavan. Stay away. But if bad luck, somehow, whatever, you end up in Vrindavan, then early in the morning everyone wakes up. They run for the Darshan, Mongolati, of Radha Govind. One deity is there, one temple, Govinda Dev. 
In the morning, Guruji would say, everyone is running. You see them in the morning, all ladies with their baskets, all paraphernalia for Krishna's worship. Even the old women are running. Oh, I cannot be late for Radha Dhammada's Aati, Radha Govinda's Aati, they're running. Everyone is running. Everyone is going in the morning, everyone. But you don't go. Stay in bed. But if some bad luck happens, you end up in the crowd and you push into the temple of Govinda. Look up, look down, look at the architecture. But don't look in front. Because he's also Govinda, no? Ashalada. Don't look, uh, Ashalada, we told you, don't look. Don't come close and look at his smiling face. You look so, you went close yet, Ashalada? Okay, there's still some hope for you. We are trying to help you. Because one who sees the smiling face of Govinda, he loses all interest in friendship, society, and love. And that's so stay. Why Rupa Goswami is saying, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go? Why? Because if you tell someone, don't do it, what do they do? They do it. So what is Rupa Goswami really saying? You must go to Vrindavan. <laughs> you must go to Keshi Ghat. You must go inside the temple of Govinda. You must see his smiling face. All this had a point, that's right. So the devotees are saying, ah yeah, come on. Five minutes, just chant Hare Krishna and be happy. Prabhupada used to say, I told everyone chant Hare Krishna and be happy, I cheated everyone. <laughs> you know, so Govinda Kyam Haritano. So very sweet things that Goswamis have written. So, therefore the devotees who move around speaking this topic, Radharani said, no, they're like butchers. No mercy. Very cruel. So, so many meanings of these verses. No? Of course, even though the gopis are suffering in separation from Krishna, because Krishna left them, but that separation is nectar. Not like material separation and suffering in this world. It looks the same, but it's completely different, like gold and iron. So, all this had a point. Stick to the point. The king was singing these verses and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in ecstasy. Therefore he was also singing. And when the king said, Bhuri Dajana, those who to talk, give topics of Krishna to other, they are the bigger, biggest donators, the most magnanimous persons. Therefore when Mahaprabhu heard that, Mahaprabhu stood up in ecstasy, Bhuri Dajana, Bhuri Dajana, you are the most munificent because you filled my ears with the nectar of Krishna remembrance of Krishna and Mahaprabhu embraced him. <laughs> Haribo! Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that time, of course the Lord knows everything but in him, because he was absorbed in ecstasy, the Lord had no idea what he was doing. The Lord had taken a vow never to see the face of the king. But why did the Lord end up embracing the king? Only one reason. Why was that? Because he completely followed the order of his guru. There is no other reason. Therefore, Yasya Prasadam Bhagavat Prasado, Yasya Prasadam Nagati Gutopi. Guru is pleased, the Supreme Lord is pleased with you. And Guru is displeased with you, the Supreme Lord is displeased. No? So, we may lose everything, but don't lose that relationship with Guru Dev and Vaishnavas. Don't lose that thing. That is your wealth. Oh, so, every year, so the king's life was successful. Parabhudra Maharaj ki ja. Sachinandan Gora Hari ki ja. Gopemanande. So every year, the Lord would, he would stand, the Lord stayed in Jagannath Puri for 18 years. So every year, all the devotees would come from Bengal, Navadvip. They would come for this festival of Rathayatra. And, but they would come to see the Lord. So the first year the devotees came, the king was on the roof with his Guru Sabhabam Bhattacharya and also Kasi Mishra. So all the devotees would come. At that time all the, all the devotees were coming from Mahapur's birthplace. It's in Navadweep. Mm-hmm. Everyone must come to Navadweep. Try and come. To all the devotees, they are the eternal associates. When the Lord comes, Ashwada, they come with Him. Therefore, they would all come every year to visit the Lord in Jagannath Puri. Devana Puri, you're coming this year, right? Come. Huh? August. Nice. That is good time also. So, 
the king was there and he was looking at all the devotees. He didn't know them. And he was asking, Sabhavam Barachai, who is he, who is he, which one's that? So, when all the devotees were coming, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent some garlands, you know, to give on the neck, two garlands. So one garland was given to Advaita Chaya, another garland was given to Surup Damada. So the king was asking, who are these two? Please tell me who they are. They must be very important, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent garlands for them. Bhatta Chaja Koi E Sarup Damoda Mapru Hoi Ina Dvitiya Kalivar. That first one, his name is Savabom Bhatta Chaya. He is the second body of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he is dear. And the second person is Govinda. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal servant. So, the two people carrying the garland. Sorry, I made a mistake. Savabom Bhatta Chaya. So the two persons who are carrying the garlands, one is Surup Damada, one is Govinda. And who do they give the garlands to? Gave garlands to Advaita Chaya and Nitinanapu. Who is Advaita Chaya? Okay, you'll learn all these names, Asha. He's the incarnation of Lord Shiva. And who is Nitinanda? Incarnation of Balaram Peru. So, normally when you come to anywhere, there's rules and regulations. No? Like when you come to a temple, rules. What do you have to do? Take off your shoes. When you come to the temple, then what do you have to do? Bow to Krishna, because this is his house, his temple. Some rules are there, no? So when you come to a holy place, there are also some rules. You have to shave your head, take bath in the holy places, go around, give some donations, then you go to the temple. But the king was watching... <laughs> These devotees are not following any rules. What they're doing, they're just running to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So the king was a little shocked. And he was asking, who is that devotee, who is that devotee? So Gopinath, he was saying, he's now there is Advaita Charya. There is Shiva's Pandit, Vakrishwa Pandit. He would dance for hours and hours. One time he danced for 72 hours, non-stop. Vakrishwa Pandit. Mahaprabhu said, oh, I wish I was like you, Vakrishwa. You dance. You are like a bird with two wings, but I only have one wing. Vidinidhi Acharya. That's Pundarik Vidinidhi. Ah, these devotees, there's so many stories with them. You know? Pundarik Vidinidhi was a great devotee, but he was a very, very wealthy landholder. One time, Gadara Pandit asked, Lord, please, I want the mercy of a devotee. Who is your best devotee? Not best devotee, but I want, who is a great devotee? Then Mahaprabhu said, you go to Pundarik Vidinidhi. He is my best devotee. So he went there. Gadada Pandit from birth was completely detached. And he went and he saw Pundarik Vidinidhi. What was Pundarik Vidinidhi doing? He was very, very wealthy. He was wearing silk cloth. He had long hair, perfumed with oil. He had so many rings, diamonds, chains. He was lying on a huge white sofa. <laughs> Some girls were fanning him. Young girls fanning him. There was one thing for smoking tobacco. You know? He was chewing betel nut. His lips were bright red. You know? And there were many mirrors. He was looking at himself again and again in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Means he looked like a 100% materialist and enjoyer. So Gadara Pandit was thinking, <laughs> this is a devotee? Some doubt came. Because you know? the devotee has no material enjoyment, they give up everything for Krishna. What's going on? Another devotee was with Gadada Pandit, his name was Mukunda. He's an incarnation of Brinda Devi. So he sang one verse. He had a very sweet voice. Bharha Vitam Natabara Papu Kani O Kani Karam Bhitprad Basad Kanaki Kapisam Bajayantim Chamalam. Ah, thank you, Maharaj. Thank God one brain is here. <laughs> That is one verse from Bhagavatam. How kind is Krishna? When Krishna was six days old, one witch came to kill him. She put poison on her breast. And what did Krishna do? He sucked out the poison. He sucked out her life and gave her liberation in the spiritual world. 
So someone who comes to kill Krishna and he gives them liberation, imagine what Krishna will do if you serve him. Kim doyalam soilam brajema. Who would bother, why would anyone serve anyone else except Krishna? He is so kind, so merciful. When his voice entered the ears of Pundarik Vidunidi, he became absorbed in ecstasy. He began tearing his cloth. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? How I can find my Lord? He began tearing his hair, tearing his chains, like a madman. He fell. The mirrors went one side. The betel nut sprayed everywhere. He fell unconscious. He was unconscious for eight hours in separation from Krishna. Just hearing one verse put him in such a state. Hare Krishna. Just hearing one verse put him in such a state of ecstasy. So not easy to understand devotees, no? Many times they cheat us by acting like materialistic persons. Then Garada Pandit became shocked. Then he thought I had made a great offense in my mind because I thought bad things about him. He never said anything, but I was thinking bad things. Then how I can become free from that offense, I have to take initiation from him. So Garada Pandit, he is Radhika herself. But even he is showing, don't be so quick to judge devotees. No, we should not be so quick. So all these devotees were coming with the Lord. And we have a few months few years, a few lifetimes, and you can describe all these devotees, what they did, how dear they are to the Lord. Shiva's Pandit, Vakrishwa, Pandit, Vidinidhi Acharya, and Garadha Pandit. Acharya Ratna, Puranda Pandit, Gangadas Pandit, and Shankar Pandit. Murari Gupta, Pandit Narayan, Haridas Thakur, Haribat, Nasinghananda, Vasudev Dat Shivananda Sen. Govinda Madhav Gosh, Eva Sugosh, Tin Bhairat Kitan Prabhu, Payane Santosh. The three brothers, Govinda Gosh, Madhav Gosh, and Vasudev Gosh. Mekla, Mekano, every morning we sing that Gora Ati. What do we sing? Sanjay Mukunda Bas, Gosh Adigai. Sanjay. Mukunda and Vasudev goes uh, singing this arti for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So all their names are here. Raghav Pandit, cooker of Mahaprabhu, main, one of the main cooks. Every year he would cook preparations for the Lord and send them in bags. Those bags became famous. How he would serve the deity, so much affection. There's one story. All Pujari should hear this very carefully. Some people say, oh, we are advanced, Raghunuga, no need to follow rules. No. How much careful was Raghav Pandit in the service to the deity? Once, if he heard, he was very wealthy. If he heard there was a lot of good fruits and vegetables in a very far distant place, he would spend a lot of money to bring the good fruits and vegetables. So one day, he heard that village has very good coconuts. So he spent a lot of money, sent one guy to bring the coconuts. Just like we sell our coconuts here, no, they clip them. We take off the green stuff, clipped and washed. And the pujari was going to offer them to the deity. But when the pujari walked into the temple, he touched the roof, the doorway. He touched the door, then touched the plate. Who else would it be except Mohini? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a few handstands also. Thank you. Just hang up on her. The point being, when he entered the temple, he touched the doorway, then touched the plate again. So we, if we want to live in the temple, we have to be very clean. Stuart, how are you? Taking bath every day? Must do. Don't tell me the details. Have to do. If you want to live in the temple, must wash fresh cloth every day, taking bath with some rules. Otherwise, you are, we are not clean, and many offenses we make to the deity. We make offenses to the deity, what's going to happen to us? <laughs> Your bhakti will be destroyed, you know? So, must be careful. Especially those who are pujaris, must be very, very careful. Two main things when we serve the deities must be spotlessly clean and, and cook with affection, these two main things, you no? Know? Other things here and there, no problem, but these two main things. Very clean and cook with affection. So, point being, he touched the roof and touched the plate. Then, Raghav Pandit said, what you're doing? 
So many people have walked, their foot dust has gone on the roof. You've touched the roof and touched the offering. You cannot offer that to Krishna. He took all the coconuts and threw them. So how much affection he has for Krishna. Just like someone we love, we give them rotten things. We try and give them the best things. And how much we should be for Krishna. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I always stay in four places. Can you remember the four? Give it high. Wherever Nityananda Prabhu dances. Where in the, I always stay in the courtyard of Srivas Thakur. I always stay when my mother makes an offering. And the fourth, I always stay in the kitchen of Raghupan. I'm always there. So, Raghav Pandit, Acharya Nandan, Nandanandan Acharya, where Mapu and Nityananda first met, so many stories. Sriman Pandit, Srikant Narayan, Gopinath Acharya, was pointing out the other devotees. There's Sridhar, we told about him and the banana leaves. There's Vijay, Vallabh Sen, Purushottam and Sanjaya, they are all the residents of Kulini Gram, such as Satiraj Khan. Satiraj Khan sponsored the second marriage of the Lord. And Ramananda. All of them are here. Mukunda, Narahari, Raghunandan, Chiranjeev, Sulochan, and all the residents of Kanda. Anyone been there? I went there. How many names shall I speak to you? All the devotees you see in that group are like the life and soul of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the king said, I've seen the king of Jagannath Puri. How many pilgrims he's seen? Millions and millions. I've seen so many pilgrims. I've never seen persons like this. I've never seen such effulgence. Koti Suja Sama Sabha Ujvala Varan Kabunai Sune Madhuja Kirtan They have effulgence like millions and millions of sons. And I have never heard such chanting of the holy name. Oicha Prem, Oicha Nitta, Oicha Haridwani, Kaha Nahi Deki Oicha, Kaha Nahi Suni. I have never seen such ecstatic love for Krishna. I have never seen such dancing. And I have never seen, heard such chanting of the holy name. What's this? What's happening? Sarv Bhama said, yes, you have never seen it. Because this is a special creation of the Supreme Lord. What's it called? Prem Nam Sankirtan. No? Bhattacharya kohi e madhurya vachan chaitanya e shristi e prema sankirtan. You have never seen such chanting, dancing and love. Why? This is all the special creation of the Supreme Lord Himself. It's called Prem Nam Sankirtan. No? We are chanting and dancing, but where is the prema? No? So that means Asha is chanting the holy name with pure devotion that is called Prem Nam Sankirtan. Time, plenty of time. Avatari Chitanya Kweli Dharma Pracha Chitanya Mahaprabhu has come in this age to spread the religion of the age, which is chanting of the holy name. Therefore, in this age of Kali, the only religion, this age of Kali Yuga, the only religion is congregational chanting of the names of Krishna. Sankirtan Yageta Kori Aradan Setu Sumed Ara Kori Hatajan. That most intelligent person who should worship the Lord by congregational chanting the name of Krishna. And so much he talks. No? Wonderful thing. The king arranged all the accommodation for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the devotees. No? Therefore, not just we have to also take care of all guests. We are doing, but all guests, they should be welcomed with affection or given some prasad. No? Not that just only the devotees are filling their stomach, we have to also take care of everyone. No? Therefore, service to Krishna means service to Krishna's devotees also. I remember I tell you one astonishing thing. When Gurudev first went to England, 96, then no one had met Gurudev, they had heard something, and he went to Brighton. And he was staying, went to stay in the house of one very wealthy man. <clears throat> I won't say his name. So that wealthy man, his house, you can imagine, very nice, everything clean. And Guru Dev is never alone with Guru, means Guru's devotees. Therefore, he said he wanted to host Guru Dev and no one else. So he would not allow even the devotees. That we had nowhere to stay. Krishna arranges. Therefore, he would not even let the devotees set up a kitchen in his backyard. 
So Gurudev heard he came out very angry. He said, what type of person do you think I am? You think I will eat alone and they will not eat? I am never like that. Guru said, my whole life I would always serve everyone and I would eat last. So Gurudev said, you bring the kitchen because today I will cook. And after I've cooked and served all the Vaishnavas, then I will take prasad last. Then that man was shocked. No, I remember. Then of course he completely changed. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed unlimited pastimes with his devotees in Jagannath Puri. What else is there? The cleaning of the Gundicha. That is also a special pastime. No? If you come to Jagannath Puri, when is Ratha Yatra? What day? Three, July 3. July 3. going will do here. Which day? Jul- July 1st, right? July 31st. So Ratha Yatra is a huge festival. So if you've seen pictures, Ashram, they take the Lord on a huge chariot and drag him through the city of Navadweep to another temple called Gundicha. So before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ratha Yatra was there. Ah, good work. When if you can turn those off tomorrow. Save electricity. <laughs> so, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ratha Yatra was there, but people could not really understand the moods of Ratha Yatra. The moods of Ratha Yatra is to bring Krishna back to Vrindavan. So Gundicha represents Vrindavan, and Gundicha also represents the heart. If Krishna wants to come in the heart, then the heart must be very clean, very pure. Okay? Anurada. <laughs> heart must be pure. We cannot put any bad things in the heart. Therefore, onion, garlic, medical marijuana, these things, these are like dust, contamination. Krishna will never go there. Also, we have so many faults, lust, greed, anger, enviousness, madness, illusion. So much greed, so many bad things we have in the heart. Therefore, we chant honey now, but Krishna does not appear there. So how the heart should be purified. So to teach us that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed the pastime of cleaning the Gundicha temple before Jagannath went there. So the Lord said to the, I want to wash the Jagannath temple, the Gundicha. So the king ordered hundreds and hundreds of pots and hundreds and hundreds of brooms. Therefore, when the devotees heard, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of devotees came and they would carry water from uh, Indraduna Sarova to Gundicha. So there was no talking, give me that part, go here, only Hare Krishna. <laughs> Giving a part, Hare Krishna, taking a part, Hare Krishna. So hundreds of devotees were throwing water, brooming, and each devotee was here collecting the dirt. And Mapa would see, oh, who has collected the most dirt? That means who has tried the hardest to remove all their obstacles. Gurumai said, we should not be lazy and think, oh, if Bhakti is in my astrology chart, then I'll get it. If I'm destined for devotion, I'll get it. Why don't you do hard, ever, hard endeavor? So Mark would see who has collected the most dust. Based in Bandhu. Still there? Okay. Then some devotees who had not collected much, the Lord would joke with them. Oh, you are collecting too much. The devotee would feel shy, then he would work harder. No one collected more dust than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His dust was like a mountain. So they cleansed three times. That means how much clean the heart should be. No? So, there's one rule. Inside the temple, you cannot wash anyone else's feet. But there's one rule. No? So, the devotees were throwing water everywhere, cleaning. And there was one devotee, who saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. So he poured his bucket of water on the Lord's feet and drank the water. Even though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna, so technically there's no fault in washing Krishna's feet in the temple, because Krishna is playing the part of a spiritual master and a sadhu, then he said, you have done wrong. And he said to Srila Dhammada, your Gaudiya Vaishnava has made offense. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu indicated all the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu should be under the guidance of Srila Dhammada. Okay? Under the guidance of who? Srila Dhammada. <laughs> just checking. So Srila Dhammada Maharaj is so important. No? So Sri Dhammada pretended to become angry, but he was not angry. He was very happy with that devotee. Oh, only he has pure intelligence. He understands who Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is. Then he took him by the neck and pushed him outside. But externally he was only acting like that, but inside he was very satisfied. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed so many pastimes in Navadvip. 
And every year the devotees would come from Navadweep to Jagannath Puri. So one year they were coming. There was one dog who joined the, the group of devotees. <laughs> His name wasn't Tupac, something like that. So in India, do- and then you only love dogs because you haven't been to India. If you go to India very quickly, you'll lose your affection for them. <laughs> I used to love dogs till I went to India. I never hated them. Not hate, but you know. Why? Because they're covered in scabies, covered in wounds, filthy, no hair, no one like. They're unclean animals because they eat stools. No one feeds them doggy Vitabricks. They eat the stool that people pass on the side of the road. Therefore, dogs are contemptible, rejectable. But anyhow, whatever happened, this dog somehow managed following the group of devotees. And in charge of the devotees was Shiva Nanda Sen. He would take care of everything and everyone. So as they were going down, this dog would follow the parikram, the devotees as they went to see the Lord. And for some reason, Shiva Nanda Sen had affection for the dog. Doesn't mean he'd let him lick it and... No. Okay, dog is there, okay. Then he would take care of feeding the dog. Anyhow, because anyhow, he has taken shelter, I have to look after him. So as they were going, 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 they approached Jagannath Puri. Even boatman would not take the dog on the boat. But Shiva Nandasen would give extra money to take the dog on. No? So, when they came near Jagannath Puri, one day the dog disappeared. Just when they were at the border of Jagannath Puri. Shivananda Sen sent many people to find the dog. They could not find him. So Shivananda Sen was so sad he did not eat prasad that night. So as they came to Jagannath Puri, then what happened? When they got there, they saw that dog was near Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, when you drink a green coconut, you know the jelly that's inside? They call meat also, jelly. So the Lord was eating, he drank the water and the jelly from the coconut, he was eating and also giving some to the dog. Everything we cook in the kitchen, we offer to Krishna. Okay? Devotees should get in that habit. Okay, so you cook for yourself or? Try. Everything you cook for yourself, we should be offering your food to Krishna. Take it, take it. Everything we cook, we should offer to Krishna. So, and when the food, the food, the boga comes back from Krishna, then it's called prasad. And we take that with great respect. So we're lucky to get the remnants of the deity. Imagine the Lord is giving his own remnants directly to the dog. Unheard of. And the dog was taking, and the dog was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. The dog was weeping. A few hairs he had were standing on end. His body was here. All the symptoms of ecstasy. And then the next day they could not find the dog because the dog had given up his dog body and his soul had gone to the spiritual world. So when we take initiation, then Gurudev, Srila Gorgamaj used to say, this is dog call up. Mm-hmm. Because Shiva Nanda Sen, that dog was the dog of Shiva Nanda Sen. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally fed him, personally initiated him and personally sent him to the spiritual world. No? So there's nothing wrong with being a dog as long as you're the dog of a Vaishnava. So when we take initiation, Srila Gorgamaj would say, then Guru gives registration. Means not street dog. It's not street dog, no registration, no collar. What happens? The pound comes, stick him up, and then he's put to death. So those who have no registration, no master, no, then they're taken by Yamaraj to the lower species. But we have, no, no, we are reg- don't, I'm registered dog. <laughs> I'm a registered dog. The Bhaktanur Thakur even sang one nice song about that. Vaishnav Thakur, Tumar Kukur. Oh, Vaishnav, I am your dog. I don't mind taking birth as a dog as long as, as long as I am the dog of a Vaishnav. Why? Dog has many good qualities also. <clears throat> Doesn't mean we have to own one, but still. Dog has good qualities. What is the quality of a dog? He is very loyal. So dog, the master has his house, and what does the dog do? Any friend of the master comes, then his tail is, he becomes very happy. So those who understand who love Gurudev, we love them. Those who love our Vaishnavas, we love them. And those who are against us, Diksha Guru, or against our Shiksha Guru, then what we become? If any enemy of the master comes, what does the dog do? We have to be like that. We cannot be neutral. 
actually funny, the second thing Gurudev ever said to me, don't be neutral. Neutrality has no place in devotion. We cannot be neutral to Vaishnava. You have to take a side. So especially someone who criticizes our Diksha Guru, or especially Siksha Guru, be like a dog. <laughs> Those persons should be afraid of us. They should be afraid. Then they'll never come near us. Now these one good qualities of dog, very loyal. Where does dog stay? Always at the feet of the master. What does doggy eat? Whatever master gives him, dog eats that. So, understand? So, become a dog or a Vaishnava, your life will be perfect. So, all these teachings in Mahaprabhu's lessons. Shivananda Sen was very dear to the Lord. He's an incarnation of Tunga Vidya Saki, dear friend of Radhika. And Shivananda Sen would arrange all the accommodation for the devotees. So, one day, Shivananda Sen was late because he was paying tax. No, all the devotees pass, you have to pay per head some tax. So Shivananda Sen was late, and Nityananda Prabhu, incarnation of Baladev, <coughs> he was very ha- ang- ha- hungry and tired. Therefore Shivananda Sen would arrange all the accommodation, but he was late, therefore Shivana- Lord Nityananda was angry, and some swearing, bad language he was using. Shivananda Sen is this, Shivananda, why is not arranged? Then he said, I curse all Shivananda sons, Shiva on the same sons to die. I'm dying of starvation, he is not arranging. When Shiva on the same's wife heard Nityananda has cursed our children to die, she began weeping. Then Shiva on the same came. Then Nityananda was very angry, and when he bowed to Nityananda, Nityananda Puru kicked him in the chest. Is this good or bad? To kick someone is a great disrespect. But to be kicked by the Supreme Lord, that's a big, big benediction. <laughs> So instead of becoming angry, Shivananda Sen began dancing in ecstasy. He said, Brahma Shiva Joni Dulab Tumara Chanarenu Aj Safalohoye Janma Karma Mora Dharma Tanu Your fudas you cannot be achieved even by the perfected demigods like Brahma and Shiva. Today I am so fortunate that same fudas you have put on my heart. <laughs> Shivananda Sen began dancing in ecstasy. And when his wife said, Why are you so happy he has cursed our children to die? <laughs> Shivananda said, Our children deserve to die. We have not served the Lord properly. He is giving us good punishment. Of course, Nityananda did not kill his children. This is just to show the glories of Shivananda Sen. So if we want to live in the temple, if you want to be with the devotees, have to be like that. Srila Bhaman Raj used to say, when you come to the spiritual life, you have to be ready for two things. Patle patle dal boishneva ragal. Not mal. Gal. Gali. Means you have, like in India, dal is, you know dal? How do I explain dal? Everyone knows dal. <coughs> but temples are normally poor, so and they put so much water in the dal. <laughs> So when you come to a spiritual life, be ready for that. Oatmeal, things like that. And don't complain. I should also say, because I, I hate oatmeal. But anyway, whatever comes, just don't complain. No. Also, we have so many people living in one room, little austere, don't complain. Be silent. And also you have to be ready to be abused. Tolerate. If you tolerate those two things, then you can stay in spiritual life. No. So, especially some senior devotee gives us some chastisement for our benefit. That is not for their benefit, that is for us. No? So, if you tolerate those two things, you will always be good in spiritual life. No? Especially Vaishnavas abuse us, never think this is abuse. Always think they are saying for my benefit. If you think like that, always remember that, your life will be perfect. No? I'll tell one of my own mundane histories and I'll finish. It's a very good thing, no? <coughs> I won't tell, actually. I want to stick to Chaitanya Chaitanya. So, if you tolerate these two things, then you can always stay in spiritual life. Our problem is, as soon as someone says something to us, then we become angry. Oh, isn't it? Pran says something, hey, why are you not doing this? Then we become angry. Oh, why? Why I tell I'm going to leave? I'm going to go outside. Many things we think. If we just tolerate and accept their chastisement and think this is for our betterment, then always our spiritual life will go up and up and up and up. So, Shivananda Sen was chastised by Nityananda, but he never thought ill. He thought, this is big mercy for me. 
Shivananda Sen was very dear to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His wife became pregnant. Then when the child was born, mother and father offered the baby to the, bo- to the Lord. Just like anything new we get. Okay, we can't do anything new. Cloth, makeup, whatever. Don't just take it and use it. Any foodstuffs, anything we have, we should let Krishna enjoy first. Then it becomes pure. So any cloth, anything, wage, we offer, me- we give to Krishna, offer mentally. Then after he's done everything, well, he ain't looking worried. <laughs> then we take that. So the baby was offered to the Lord. I don't know if they put a tulsi leaf on his head or something. But they offered him to the Lord. And that baby, how much he was a special baby. When he was put at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he looked at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, very pink, very soft. And he began sucking the big toe of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So how much nectar is in the feet of the Supreme Lord? Baby was sucking. Then Mahaprabhu asked what his name is. Then they said his name is Chaitanya Das. Chaitanya Das first. He's the servant of Lord Chaitanya. Then Mahaprabhu, he's a shy. Oh. The guru will never say, worship me, serve me. This is an embarrassing thing, no? So when the son said, you are Chaitanya Das, then Mahaprabhu became embarrassed. Oh, this is not a good name, you call him Puri Das. <laughs> Don't call him Chaitanya Das. No? So what happened? The baby was very lucky. He sucked the Lord's toe at birth. And you can imagine what type of child he was. When he came to the age of five or seven, one day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Puri Das, chant the holy name. The baby remained silent. He did not say anything. And everyone became astonished. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I made the three worlds chant the holy name. When he went towards Vrindavan, we will hear through the Jarikan forest, even the tigers, buffaloes, bears, elephants, deers, snakes, plants, rocks, would chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Such was the Lord's influence. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I made even plants chant the holy name, but I cannot make this boy chant. Then Sarup Damadas Goswami said, I think he is chanting in his mind Gopal Mantra. So Gopal Mantra you should not chant loudly, you should chant inside. Therefore he is not chanting the name. So everyone became astonished. Who is this child, a wonderful child? Then the next day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Puridas, tell me a verse about Krishna. Then Puridas on the spot made up 100 verses about Krishna. Five-year-old child. Then everyone became astonished. The same child who the day before could not chant Hare Krishna, now he is making thousands of verses. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him a new name. Your name is Kavi Kanapur. Kavi means poet. Khan means ear. Because he pours nectar and poetry in your ear, his name is Kavi Kanapur Goswami. Huh? Kavi Kanapur, yes, I'm right. He wrote so many books, wonderful books. No, if you read his writings, astonishing. So everything is achieved by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everything is achieved by the mercy of the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore there is one poem written by Prabhupada Saraswati. Vichaja Dharmam Parichaja Vishnu Vichaja Tirtam Parichaja Vedam Go Bina Gora Priya Pada Sevanam Tush Prapti Padand Veda Padanti He said, my dear brother, you may visit all the holy places, all the holy places. You may worship Vishnu, you may worship the deity even, even the deity of Krishna, even the deity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vichaja Dharmam Parichaja Vishnu Vichaja Tirtam Parichaja Vedam You may follow all the rules and regulations perfectly. Vanasham you may read the Vedas, the scriptures, day and night, but bina gora priya pada sevanam. Without serving the dear devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you cannot have prema, which even the Vedas cannot find. No? Gopamanandi. So tonight we'll speak, I'll move, we'll speak, the Lord going through the Jarakan forest to Brindavan. We'll speak Mahaprabhu giving instructions to Rupa Goswami, uh, Rupa Goswami at Prayag, and Mahaprabhu's visit to Vrindavan. All the, um, we're going to move it because it's 
We will never finish otherwise. So tonight, very wonderful, wonderful things. Gopamanandi. Sachi Nandan Jaya Gauda Hari. Jai Sachi Nandan Jaya Gauda Hari. Jaya Gauda. Jaya Sachi Nandan Gauda Hari. Gauda 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 Hari. Gaura, 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 Hari. Jaya Sachinandan, Gaura, Hari. Jaya Sachinandan, Gaura, Hari. Gaura, 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 Hari. Gora, 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 Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Hare Bol. Hare Bol. Guru Maharaj ki jai, Gopramanandi, Mahaprasad ki jai. Thank you very much. One second.